as some of you might know, I did uh, coaching on Medify. Well, technically, I still coach on Medify. And up until recently, I was the only guy that you could book for a coaching session on CSGO. Uh, but now they've added more people in here, you know, actual pro players and stuff. So I thought it would be a good idea or maybe even a fun idea to book a coach and have them coach me so for today i will be picking nato Safix to coach me because he is a good friend of mine how much is he gonna find with this he's got the entire t side force to deal with they could line up oh! he gets himself two kills at the end of the smoke he doesn't catch what? a lot of the flash bank keeps him blind but he fires oh! one anyway he's gonna get what? a and it is. okay let's buy one match tip for the coach <laughs> neil's gonna have my tip anytime oh. <laughs> so he wants you to upload the demo on youtube Instead of having to go and Counter-Strike. I think I'm just going to go send him a message because this is really confusing. The maps that I will be picking are going to be Mirage, Nuke, and Overpass, as these maps are by far my worst maps. The most easiest way to improve in Counter-Strike is to learn from your mistakes. And if I make a lot of mistakes, I will learn a lot of good stuff. And you too, by the way, you guys will learn something too. So let's hop into the queue and pray to God we get some nice teammates. What do you know? It's going to be Mirage and Classic Face It puts us in a lobby with two guys who are 2k ELO, a 5k ELO player almost. So this guy's a FPL player. Interesting. He, I guess he really likes Andrew Tate. Because you know within the paradigms of society, I shouldn't have even fucking done it. That's how much you know schools are. Playing against the top G. If you've been looking to upgrade your knife or you've been looking to upgrade any other skin, you can do so on Skins Monkey for a very cheap price. Because if you use my code, you get a bonus for everything that you trade. So if you trade up to $100, you get an additional $5 for free. And not only that, you can also buy skins on Skins Monkey for very cheap because you get a 35% deposit bonus on there. So if you deposit $100, you get $135. And if you're quick enough, you might be able to join in on one of these giveaways. By the way, guys, I'm playing on a 360 hertz monitor right now, which has been sponsored by Zowie. If you guys want me to make a video about that, let me know down in the comments below. On bench. Let's go kill this guy's inside. One car. Bench and car. Bench. Short. 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 Oh. I, I thought that was my teammate. I'm behind. What are you? 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 What Palace. I'm holding off uh, CT push now. Okay. You don't look at someone. The default? Last beat or Palace. He has O. I like it. <laughs> I gotta take one more look at this guy's profile, man. Like... <laughs> Wait, is his entire profile. His entire profile is full of Andrew yep. Tate quotes. Holy oh, shit. Fuck. Junk. Yeah, Junk one. What city, please? Plant, what city? Bro, plant for comp. What? One is uh, ladder. It's planned for city, you know. Oh, oh my. The cons smoke's fading. Short picking. A con. Short this A side, I guess. Short is Nice, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is doing? I molly car, I keep running. Okay. I'll flash me. Get under. Get under. Yeah, I will. Nice. Backside. Chunga one, chunga one. I'm molly jungle. I don't see I'm one HP. Oh, maybe no kit. I play on your contact, I pick. I pick T1. Just kill. CT last. 
Don't, 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 don't. You can just hide. It's nice. All right. Dead. CT. <laughs> Nice, guys. Ah, the top G said GG. Hey, that's respect, man. He really tried to win it. I mean, I don't blame him. His team was just very toxic, I suppose. All right, we're going to send this demo over to Niels, and he's going to review it for me, and we'll see what comes out of it. Oh, how did I do, man? I actually think you did really good, but I, oh. I do still have a lot of notes, like a lot. Okay, we're just going to skip forward a bit because there were some issues with NATO's microphone and the video quality. So we're going to switch over to NATO's point of view for the extra quality. The people that I've reviewed, at least the two individual like player coaching sessions I did, they were both on Vertigo and I, I could kind of mostly focus on how you should pl better play the map. But for you, because you've picked like a regular map and you are so high ELO already, I can focus more on like the sort of overall i would i would call it a like macro game like yeah overall, yeah the like the a, fundamentals are already sort of there like the the movement yeah. the mechanics and what i always start with in my coaching sessions is that i like to ask like how would you like to receive the feedback because i know if i was coaching myself i would probably want it to be like give it straight to me raw man no condom nothing so for the pistol round here, your teammate gets contact on a guy over at a ram but he's quick to call one slope in this moment, you are moving up here to clear top mid. But in the event that this is a fake, which is pretty obvious, these guys are moving towards B. Right. So you are actually getting yourself out of position. If they were to be playing top mid here, they would have already met you while you're in the middle of mid and you would be fucked. Yep. That's why if you instead stay back here, you can kind of play the same info if they come out mid, but you're closer to B, so you can still help. It is a very, very small thing. But what I wanted to also say is that in this case, holding this angle, it's not bad, but you could tuck more into the boxes. It makes it harder for him to come out and clear you because he has to be worried about this. And anyway, if he goes up here, he's probably more worried about mid. Also, another thing, I have to get some disclaimers out of the way here at the start. Since this is a face it match, I'm going to be commenting on what you do. But honestly, what you do is like getting a little bit up because your teammate is playing in a certain way you know yeah i get that a lot too man when i do like level six coaching i'm like bro i don't know what your entire team is doing like <laughs> yeah exactly but this is one of those rounds where your teammate show up a little bit straight off the bat you're playing window in the middle of the round and you have an ak meanwhile right. your awp player is playing con in my opinion, if you start as an AWP con, it's because you have a specific peak in mind. like you, Or because you watch too many dark streams. You have to assume that the opponents are on eco. Right. But the weird thing is just that he's not playing window. Yeah, you want to play that pop long range, right? Yes. Otherwise you get run down. And con is one of the worst places to do that. Your AWP just killed the guy A house and your teammate slope just died from rim. Two o'clock. I don't know if that happened. When you kill one A house against low money and they are not flooding out, it's very unlikely there are multiple people A house. In the event now where they kill your CT guy, what's most likely to happen is that it's slope and maybe cut. What you're doing right now is you're flashing over bench for a teammate, which is pretty good. Um, I, I would just swing bench and try to destroy, you know. There is a lurk coming con. But hopefully, your short guy should take care of this. I shouldn't really worry about connector when I'm trying to defend A with my teammate here. I should just swing out on a low bar. It's what I wrote down is have less respect for the pistols. You're fading the window smoke and you kill this guy. When you fade the window smoke, what I like to do, you're not window player normally, I think, right? Uh, I play wherever I feel. Okay, okay. I'm the fill but guy. <laughs> you feel me? When you fade the window smoke, always crouch. You can clear top mid and have these duels without the worry of someone killing you. Okay, yeah, makes sense. You early on get tagged by a scout here. You now go to B, which kind of makes sense because, again, it is low by and you have only one playing B for some reason. Yeah, that's, that's why I want B. I only saw one guy there. Now your teammate dies in mid, which is also yeah. a super bad play by him. The info you have now is that one died coming underground and one guy is close mid. So probably these two guys are not alone. I think right. that's kind of safe to assume. There has to be at least one more, most likely. What I think is a good call here is that you say to your, to your number three here, let's push B. And if you go here and push together, it should be either you kill him for free, you get all the B control, or he kills one of you and it becomes a trade. And so by pushing B in this moment, 
you clear out B, at least you, you win like half the map for free. Before you left mid here, you could have bounced a smoke down to con this way, or you could have come here, bounced a smoke con this way. Uh, I don't see a mouse. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's awkward. When you leave mid, you at least leave your mid strengthened. A really unlikely thing to happen when the T's have low economy is that they will walk over short. And this is the one thing you're defending. For this round, it's just a small note. You should prioritize having an AWP when you are window player. Yeah. There's also a lot of rounds here where I would say you're, you're staying behind the window smoke for too long. It's already 25 seconds in a round where you haven't done anything other than throw nades through the smoke, you know? <laughs> yeah. This is the only point in a round where I feel like you could maybe do something uh, really good. When this Molotov comes in, you know um, the Molotov directly in front is about to fade. You could consider running through the Molotov here and killing him because the trajectory right, yeah. of this Molo is that he's close. And the last thing he will expect is that his molo is too deep and you can push the other molo and take, let's say, 30 points of damage and kill this guy in the back. This I really like, that you're searching actively with the AWP here. It's almost always free to just random timing search with AWP here. Right. So I really like you do that. And I love your patience here, that you are chilling so much. But honestly, what it around comes down to is your teammate is in what I would call a guard position. Um, he can't lose it. Pretty much. Yes. Because if the opera wants to kill me, he has to go very wide. And then Lele can just trade me on the contact. Exactly. So when you have these guard positions, you have to completely bait your teammate. Wait for him to die and then kill him. See, if the positions were changed, I would have won this because I'm a professional at baiting. So, yeah. <laughs> And it's the same case. If he comes out A-house, he has to go very wide. This round, you want to do a mid play, but like your teammates have no smoke. So if the Molotov cut... It's pretty shit. Yeah. The way I see such a round is you want the T's to get close because the advantage for you with the pistols is if it's an up close fight. Because when you flash them up here, they just go behind the boxes. But actually notice this guy, he's not blind. He's a little bit blind. You want your guys con to be here and you want to flash the first flash out through con because it's very difficult for the T's to dodge, you know? So that the guy short will be blind and anyone down here is blind. And then the second flash you throw over con. That would completely destroy number six here. He would just be dead. Oh, this. Yeah, this this again is more like a teammate thing. Because yeah. if he would have planted for Colin, I would have moved over to jungle. But because he was planning for CT, I had to cover him there. That's also why I didn't write a single note. Yeah, because... this is just tragic. <laughs> <laughs> when your teammates are con or jungle, you plan for mid. It's simple as that. I love that you're like, oh no, the smoke is gonna fade. But when he actually moves over and does the other bomb plan, and you recognize the smoke is fading, you do try to do everything you can to help him get the bomb plan. And that's like... Nice to see, because you could stay here and just say, okay, you're dead, <laughs> you know? You have one AK here, and he's trying to open up. Yeah, I, I thought he was just going for a quick peek and going back, but no, he decided to peek up. <laughs> At this moment, you should probably be trying to take a timing. Yeah, the thing is, the guy jumping over the connector saw two guys ramp. They would assume I'm ramp here. That's how I was like, oh, I'm just going to wait this out. Maybe he'll assume I go back towards top mid. That does assume that they have perfect communication in phase though. Yeah, that's never the case. And I like how thorough you are when you come out A at clearing the different positions. Like, you do it fast, yeah. and then you fake plant even, and he also doesn't hear that. So yeah, this was the good round. Reason why this is a good round is because here you are actually reactive. Your teammate kills short, you walk closer on the smoke, he kills the other B player, you recognize B is open, then you run through the smoke. Here you actually use the information gained by your teammates to change the way you would play it. Small thing, which is a positive. If you are running against a buy round, most of the time as the first guy you want to jump out the window and create the space. Yeah. And then clear backside. Yeah, but yeah. I would say against Loba, you don't want to jump out the window. You want to go balcony because a lot of people play under the window. And also while you're falling, that's when like a pistol can kill you, you know? Yeah. So you do the correct thing here by running balc instead of jumping out the window. And you anyway die, but you get two clean kills and you get in for as well. For this one, I wrote that you have sort of zero early round impact again. It's again around where the majority of your team basically is dead. At 126. 
yeah, and that's one problem. Again, it's face it, so we can't change the other people, right? You can only change yeah. yourself. But if your teammates play so fast, you have to also adapt to playing faster. A big part of the reason why you are so good at clutches, for example, is because you have a very passive play style where you end up in a lot of clutches. And that's evidenced by, for example, this round. Now you can molo under and... It's not so bad in this situation that you're a little bit standoffish because the A-house guy, he is more like a trade fragger in such a scenario where they come con, slope. If this guy kills con, you can swing out, you can hold him. Or if your teammate gets contact on CT, you can swing out, try to kill. This guy gets contact, you are immediately here to at the very least trade him. And you do actually do the jungle smoke. You can also in this case smoke top con maybe. So for early round, let's say I do go ramp palace, what should I do? Or just put pressure, like do a lurk smoke or something? For example, in this round where your teammates are heavy mid, I would have liked you maybe to be closer in AR so that you could be ready to react. You can see still, there's so much time here where you could have reacted. The moment I moved from my standard off angle spot to there, yeah. is the moment I actually already wanted to peek out from palace. So yeah, it's a bit delayed. Yeah. You would have the timing. And you're losing it here because this guy wins his duel in mid. Then while he's falling back, the only danger area is A house. And now you're coming, you know. You actually now go first with the low HP and you do create the space. And you're really creating it good. Teammate instant trades. Because of this space you now created, he gets a bomb plant and a winnable one on two. On CT, stay less behind the window smoke. And on T, think about trade potential. Think about like the way you're playing right now. You are sort of a bystander. If your teammates get a lot of good entries, you have a good chance of winning. But if they don't get a lot of good entries, you will end up in a lot of unwinnable clutches. If you have four teammates going out mid and they don't call con smoke, they don't really shoot, they're not getting any contact, you should not be taking a timing. I can also try being an entry fragger. I think you're doing great as a lurk. The extra dimension you could add to your game is that a lurker needs to be also reactive. A great lurker like Robs and stuff like that, he will recognize these things like when is my bomb site with only one guy and then he will go out and take the duel because that can straight up win the round, you know. And then I always would like to ask you if you have any questions or just feedback or anything. Just for the sake of, of the video, I would have liked it more maybe if you compressed it a bit. So I have to do last set of thing. Any last words? Yeah, just shout out to you, I think. This was uh, super sick. Shout out to me. Hey, this is your moment, you know? Yeah, you but bro, like, I, it's, it's really crazy that you booked a coaching session with me. And <laughs> I said also to you that it made me really happy. And uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course, man. If there's a guy that deserves it, it's you, man. Aww. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below. For the people that made it so far into the video, I just wanted to let you know I will be giving away a 30% discount code on Metify. I will be giving it away in my Discord, so make sure to join that. The link will be in the description, and I will give you more information in the Discord itself.